Hey guys, V here from Dentarg Alliance US and I'm here to show you how to install the KG panel art I had been featured on on WoW Insider. Many of you don't really know how to go about doing that and I will admit when I first started um, messing with my user interface with KG panels and time panels I, it was a bit confusing, and so I mean I understand how some of you are overwhelmed or by the um, information and the configuration that is involved. Now, as you can see right now, I do have my um, art displayed, and it's to be honest. Now that I've done it a couple times, it's pretty easy, and I will show you exactly how to do this. First off, you need to download the package that I provided you guys with. It's just a folder with add-ons folder, Dentarg folder, and a readme first, which if you guys have any information or any questions, you should read this. It's it's um it gives you a quick rundown of what everything is and what it's about. And two links, one to the feature and one to uh, contact information. Alright, what you're gonna do first, click on the add-ons folder this brings up a bunch of other folders as you can see and these are the add-ons that I was I listed back in the feature and what you're going to do is go to the directory of World of Warcraft for XP users when is XP I know it's in uh, well for me it's E but for everyone else it's probably gonna be C then you go to program files World of Warcraft and here we go Many of you might have already been here many of times to configure one add-on or another. I know I have. So what you want to do is click on interface and here is a key element of this. Do not drag on. No, you do not want to replace. I have many more add-ons than I listed. But those are just uh, other add-ons that weren't involved with the user interface. What you want to do is <coughs> drag and select all the add-ons, either control A or Mac users, Apple A, I'm not sure I don't use a Mac. Make sure you copy or drag or whatever you want and you want to paste them in here, drag, drop, whatever. And it says, and if you already have those folders then yeah it's going to reconfigure your files anyway. Just click yes and for the sake of time I'm going to click cancel because they're already in there. <clears throat> all right. After you do that, you're going to exit back to your World of Warcraft directory. And um, this might be common sense, but make sure you are logged off World of Warcraft and your client is exited just so everything runs smoothly. And here's another tricky part. <clears throat> this is um, actually a tip by uh, one of the readers, I forget what his name was, um, who was it that said this? Yes, Kyle, thank you. I wasn't aware that the interface WTF folder would actually copy my configuration settings of most, not all. There are some settings that you have to tinker yourself for some reason. You see, the, click on WTF, click on your account, and here I have two accounts. One account is an old account I had before I merged. Zerno's account I have, and here you will see a list of realms you have characters on. I have a couple realms I actually have played on and right now I'm on Dentarg and then you see all the tunes right now I am using V then you see all these files this is what you're going to overwrite double click on Dentarg then you'll see V double click on V unless you want to do it the way I s suggest in the note uh, in the readme which um, encourages a backup you can either copy paste drag and drop whatever but for the sake of this, I'm just going to cancel that because it's already in there. The way I actually suggest it is by renaming your actual account, adding backup in it, and then you drag and drop your the copy it, then you rename it to your tune, which you would rename it to your, or whatever your name is, and that's how I would do it because 
you I mean you back up your settings just in case you don't you aren't pleased with the um, result and basically to be honest that is it but however I know most of you when that when you do this you log on and it's completely messed up not the way you think it is so I will do an example um, the add-ons really doesn't really an explanation but this does alright if I go to um, let's see what's another character in another realm I'll do this on mm. here we go four grills alright copy paste yes to all done alright now my configurations have been set and since I already have the add-ons loaded I don't need to do that now I will start World of Warcraft well actually I'm already logged in I will exit Now, I will restart World of Warcraft, click play, And I will change my realms. And this is my other 80, this is the 85 that I loaded it onto. Click add ons to make sure you have the add ons actually enabled and whatnot. Let's see, button, better quest, and all these other just. Um, let's see, a quest guru. Like Shiny Quartz is another one. Tiny plates. Actually, do not have tiny plates, I have dock name plates. Alright, I believe that's it. And as you can see my screen is a mess right now. That's really normal. Don't don't worry about that. Bunch of other add-ons that I don't really need. Alright, biggest problem I can see right now is SLD text. That is one of the big that is one of my um most broken add-ons I've seen, but I mean it's really really reliable so I always use it the profile system in that is actually kind of flawed and same thing with bartender for the player score um, no I don't want to do it wrong okay this is actually recount which is another damage meter I use alright first thing I'm going to do is um, you will see my um, time panel so I'm going to do first it's actually really easy importing the bars is actually the easiest part adding the bars to your is the um, thing people get stuck on time panel 5 you see but um, there's one I actually have two bars main bar 2 oh no no no, no. that's the wrong bar auxiliary bar bottom bar there we go and here the alpha is in 100% which actually really just I just don't like that there you go transparency to 0.70 put everything at 1 there we go that, that looks so much better and to be honest I'm pretty sure from the config file you right click this go to manage click on dentarg click V and click load and it will pretty much load everything all the textures 
the ways everything set up, then you can configure it yourself however you want. It's really just the skin that you get from this pack. And you cannot do double bats, you can only do single bars. Otherwise the skin will mess up. The biggest uh, thing I can see right now is bartender four. You click slash B two four and you come up with uh, this configuration menu and you go to existing profiles. If you click on V from Area 52, if you have seen that, it should be in the config file. You everything goes right in place as you can see. If not, if that doesn't happen, which might be a possibility, simply just unlock the bars, drag them to whatever place you want, make the config. It's not that hard, really. It's just a matter of pre preference of how far apart you want them to be. See, bar 6, bar 1, bar 3. It's really simple, to be honest. And you change the alpha here, the scale, buttons, how many rows, the way it grows, the strata. Strata, the, if you don't see something, it might be because of the strata. KG panels is on the bottom. It's pretty much level of order they appear in. If you put it to the front, to the back, that's what strata means. Alright, I have that configured. And the next thing I can see is sexy map. Type sexy map, which brings up sexy map config. And this is another profile that I have seen messed up. What you want to do is go to borders clear and start over and we clear there's nothing there you go to profiles go to existing profiles click on the dentarg and there you go then you drag and drop and go to buttons and edit this however you wish now sldt data text is actually the last part I will talk to you guys about And this is probably, I hate this to be honest, but I love it at the same time. See, so existing profiles, see, so you go to be very 52. See, it, it doesn't really work, no, it doesn't. It just stays there. Now, what you want to do is go to mail or whatever you want. Actually, no, you don't go to be very 52. You go to the dentarg. That's what I meant. Sorry about that. Dentarg. Now you see how that changed to orange? This is the right one. What you want to do is see how some of these have already gone to their place, the proper place? That's right. See the zone name? I'm going to click on click enable to disable it. Then you click enable again. See how it's back there? Uh, let's see. FPS frame rate. You enable it. Then you re enable it. See it's back in those. I don't know why it does this. It's just the way it is. And Scada, lucky for you guys, is already in its place. And here's WoW Pro, but since I'm not using it right now, it's no guide is loaded. My Citrina buff frames are already in place. Pitbull already configured. You can configure that to your own liking. Chat frame, you might have to uh, readjust your Pratt settings. Just type in slash Pratt. You can configure it here, and you unlock this make it interactive and drag it to the proper place drag it out do whatever you want well guys that's as best I can do it if you guys need any more help feel free to contact me on my Facebook just send me a message if it's really urgent if not just uh, use an IM client or leave me a message on curse or leave feedback on the download um, package um, I'm here to help so Hope you like this um, vague tutorial <laughs> and uh, have a good one.